Hi, my name is Aaron Goel. I'm an archaeologist and a corn expert. Welcome to our investigation. We have hunted for whispers from Ethiopia, Aksum to Jerusalem, to the Vatican vaults. Stories tell of the, of the Ark being stolen, hidden away down tunnels and carried across huge desert. But every tempting path falls apart when we dig deeper. As an archaeologist, I have to admit, we may never know for sure what happened to this most precious relic. Some scholars claim to catch quick glimpses of the Ark's hidden resting place under Jerusalem's uh, garden tomb inside the Egypt's ruined Jewish temple at Leontopolis. But its disappearance remains the biggest unsolved mystery from the Bible. If it was truly hidden away by holy guardians under sacred ground or locked in some secret cave, this ancient blessed chest still holds deep symbolic power. Proof of God's eternal promise to humanity. People around the world are waiting for any sign of this lost connection between God and humans reappearing. As an archaeologist, drawn to danger and age-old mysteries, I desperately want to uncover the truth about what happened to the Ark. But for now, the, the search carries on through legends wrapped in darkness where determined seekers and treasure hunters still look for this lost sacred object. Many fruitless searches have taken place over the centuries. In 1901, a British archaeologist claimed to have found the Ark's resting place beneath Jerusalem, only for his evidence to be dismissed. In 1982, Israelis sank a shaft under the Islamic shrine of the Temple Mount before being stopped by protest. The clues and uh, rumors keep people dreaming of glory. Outrageous claims and questionable stories run rampant. Displeased insiders swear and on ancestors' graves that the truth hides in governmental bunkers or in some monastery. Yet the coveted prize stays stubbornly buried beneath the sense of conjecture. So, while the quest continues, remember that the Ark itself is holy by association, a container crafted to house God's commandment. Its disappearance may be the Lord's way of refocusing on our spiritual energy away from objects and back towards the eternal covenant between man and maker. Thank you for joining me on this amazing expedition. Even if we never recover the Ark of the Covenant itself, I pray you embrace the God whose ultimate law is once enshrined. Until next time, may the artifact be ever in your favor.